Down in Wiltshire lies the old world village of Laycock, an ancient row of picturesque houses bordering the single time-worn street. Two miles from the village is Laycock Abbey, which has to its credit centuries of history and a beauty that is patent for all to see. It is not with the abbey itself that we have to deal, but with one of its most distinguished inhabitants, Henry Fox Talbot, mathematician, member of parliament, and the father of photography. One hundred years ago, Fox Talbot first succeeded in reproducing photographic impressions on paper. And the cameras he used were simple and so box-like that his wife used to humorously call them mouse traps. At the same time, he discovered chemicals that were light-sensitive with which he could treat his photographic paper. His first photograph was a window, and here it is, taken a century ago. Laycock Abbey contains hundreds of his photographs, some faded, but others in a remarkable state of preservation. Here's Fox Talbot with some friends actually taking the picture, and this is how they had to develop and dry their prints. His early efforts were negative, such as this, but later he succeeded in reproducing prints. This family group had to stand still for 20 minutes. Exposures were long in those days, and some of the early ones took hours. Look at this, the building of Nelson's Column in 1843. When Henry Fox Talbot walked in these gardens, he little visualized that his momentous discovery would eventually lead to the films you are seeing in this theatre.